the importance of time measurement, there's something that we're all using today, and that's GPS. GPS has changed the world for the better in uh, many, many facets. You look at the, the industries that we support on a daily basis, including aviation, transportation, search and rescue, geological surveying, um, safety of life, emergency responders. Um, GPS has literally become relied upon by billions upon billions of worldwide users. We take our job very seriously and we're dedicated to the services and capabilities that we provide. The mission of the Second Space Operations Squadron is to command and control the GPS satellite constellation, providing precise position, navigation, and timing effects to military and civilian users. GPS relies on time measurement. The time it takes a radio signal to come from a satellite it basically is measuring the time of flight from a signal from that satellite to come down to where you are. And if you have enough satellites in the sky, you can calculate your position very accurately. GPS is based on the concept of trilateration, which is determining one's distance from certain points. So our space-based assets, the satellites, are constantly broadcasting information down to the users um, in, a, in a ranging effect that lets them know how far away from the satellites they are. So if I know, the example I give is if I'm 350 miles from a city, let's call it Topeka, Kansas, then I just draw a circle around Topeka, Kansas. I get another um, distance, I know I'm 500 miles from Boise, Idaho, draw a circle around Boise, Idaho. Those two circles are going to meet at two points. Now enter the third satellite or the third location. So if I know I'm 250 miles from Los Angeles, I draw a third circle, and now all those circles are going to meet at one exact point. I've now calculated my position on the Earth. You need a fourth satellite to get a GPS lock to, um, to enable the time mission. Users generally use that for um, speed, position, navigation, um, directional. Some of the most interesting uses of GPS I've personally heard about include uh, earthquake monitoring and, and tsunami monitoring. So they place GPS receivers right on fault lines and look for micrometer shifts in the, the crust. GPS is very important to banking. A lot of people think it's because of a timestamp, but it's actually so that the, the entire banking industry can be synchronized as financial transactions are made. Farmers are actually equipping their machinery with GPS-aided um, guidance systems, the global and national power grid, actually every transformer station is equipped with a GPS receiver for time synchronization and also to ensure that the alternating current coming, you know, being dispersed onto the power grid remains at a very precise frequency to avoid uh, disruptions and disturbances. Uh, we support a whole number of industries including emergency responders, search and rescue, safety of life applications, um, police and firefighter workforces and are very proud of the, uh, our, our contributions to those missions.